We know at ICTSD that uh, strengthening markets for renewable energy comes with multiple benefits. It's not just uh, to address climate change, it's also because it helps with the question of energy access. Thus, using the flow of green technologies to developing countries that need them to confront climate change is but one example of sustainable growth policies. Each year, uh, negotiation uh, is considered by France as a stepping stone. Uh, and uh, uh, our uh, assessment is that it goes in the right direction. Uh, the, the idea of this agreement is that for environmental products, products which have an environmental benefit, we will be removing those tariffs, which will make it cheaper to, uh, to, to sell those products into other countries and for, and for countries to make it cheaper to bring those products in. Uh, and so that, that will help to spread the, the use of, of environmentally beneficial products. And we have over 40 countries who are involved in, in this agreement, and uh, which represents almost 90% of the trade in, in, in environmentally uh, beneficial products. And so the idea is that you know, anyone else can join us, but that we will uh, be looking to remove the tariffs on those products to, to help, uh, to help uh, spread uh, environmentally uh, yeah, preferable products. I guess I'd say from the company perspective, the environmental goods agreement is definitely an opportunity for us to eliminate a small but still a significant barrier to trade. Um, for us, an average of 2% cost on an annual basis is still a way for us to reduce additional input costs and lower the cost of solar energy, bringing it to our customers faster and cheaper. The major opportunity is, is ultimately to you know, try and uh, help the spread of uh, products which are beneficial to the environment, beneficial for, for in terms of climate, but also beneficial in terms of air pollution or wastewater or all sorts of other, other, other types of products. Um, so, so, I mean, obviously uh, the, at the moment there's a great focus on climate uh, and, and climate change and we have the UNFCCC COP at the end of this year. Uh, and so, uh, you know, one of the opportunities of this agreement is to show that uh, trade agreements can also uh, be beneficial uh, from an environmental perspective as well. What we're trying to do here in the WTO is, is, a, is a more legally binding, uh, stronger commitment so that those who take on this commitment will then be legally bound through their WTO commitments to, uh, to reduce their tariffs and, uh, and uh, ultimately the, the idea would be that, that the tariffs would be reduced to zero so that it would make trade in all the, of the products that are included in the, in the list in the, in the environmental goods agreement, it would make them uh, tariff free and much cheaper and, and, and easier to access. So we who are doing the EGA negotiations are trying to see what we can do by December. You know, if, if we can finish it off by December or you know, come very close to, to having a final list by December, then that would be great because as I said before, it would help to show that you know, trade can also make a, 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 you know, a contribution to some of these broader you know, en environment and climate related issues. If it doesn't become a plurilateral agreement, that means if the countries do not decide to grant to other WTO members what they've negotiated among themselves, if this doesn't occur, then it will be a shortcoming because it will not be global, one of those first conditions. The second one uh, would be if they really don't reduce tariffs very much. In addition to tariff liberalization, which would already be a fantastic step, um, I think that the next step would certainly be to remove anti-dumping and anti-subsidy, the non-tariff barrier tools, or at least perhaps have a moratorium on them for several years. Climate change is a battle that we're fighting across the globe, and it goes beyond national borders, and it also goes beyond national legislative frameworks that allow non-tariff barriers such as anti-dumping and anti-subsidy to be used. Mm -hmm.